there is a way for food processors to protect themselves, their product, and their customers from foodborne illness. It's called HACCP, and that means Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. HACCP was developed for the NASA space program, where, as you can imagine, the food has to be absolutely safe. Thousands of operations around the world use HACCP-based food safety programs in various stages of food production. It's a highly respected and effective system. HACCP is being used from farm to fork since food safety starts at animal and crop production right through to processing, food distribution and retail food service. HACCP is recognized as the single most effective way to eliminate, reduce or control hazards in any food handling or processing operation. We'll talk more about the HACCP system itself in just a few moments. But first, let's look at some of the potential problems HACCP helps to control. North America has one of the safest food processing industries in the world. But as advanced as our industry might be, the need to identify and control hazards remains vital for the continued safety of our food supply, whether they're chemical, physical, microbiological, or allergy related. Let's take a look at these hazards. Allergenic hazards are proteins that cause allergic reactions ranging from runny nose or itchy eyes to rashes, respiratory problems, or even death. Allergenic hazards may include eggs, shellfish, nuts, soy, wheat, sesame seeds, sulfites, and milk. Biological hazards include illness-causing bacteria, such as salmonella or E. coli, viruses such as hepatitis A, parasites, and molds. Chemical hazards include cleaning compounds, pesticides, preservatives, antibiotics, and even food ingredients that are added in at incorrect levels. Physical hazards could include glass or metal fragments, stones, wood splinters, or bone pieces. These four hazard types could be associated with ingredients, processing aids, processing steps, or the processing environment. Here we're talking about improper temperature control, equipment sanitation, and of course, the personal hygiene of employees. It's important that potential food safety hazards are known, understood, and dealt with properly by all employees. In past years, food processors often relied on their quality control personnel and inspection systems to monitor product safety and quality. Finished product testing was the tool used to determine product safety. HACCP is a highly effective preventative control system. It identifies potential food safety problems first and then shows the best way to prevent, reduce or eliminate them. HACCP builds ongoing safety measures right into the production, processing, distribution and retail of foods. Keep in mind that HACCP is a preventative control system. Good manufacturing practices, or HACCP prerequisites, address those hazards associated with the environment where food is processed. About 90% of the work that is done when developing a HACCP system is spent on development of the prerequisite programs. Why? The processing environment needs to be a safe place to produce food. A great deal of control needs to be exercised in order to prevent hazards in the processing environment from compromising food safety. Good manufacturing practices must be in place before a HACCP system can work. In a processing plant, HACCP plans focus specifically on each product and on each food production line. This is where a hazard associated with the product can be eliminated or reduced to an acceptable level. For example, cooking a meat product to kill pathogens or disease-causing bacteria. HACCP plans provide an organized, documented way to ensure food safety, and all staff at every step of the process are involved. Governments play an important role in food safety, and as a result, some agencies around the world have made HACCP mandatory as a condition of trading products between countries. A given country may require that meat products sold into that country be produced in a facility that has HACCP in place. The HACCP system is so effective that a large number of manufacturers, 
retailers, and food service companies insist that their suppliers adopt HACCP in their operations to ensure that the products supplied are the safest possible. HACCP increases confidence in the safety of food products. The bottom line? HACCP increases the processing plant's competitive advantage. HACCP provides food suppliers and their customers with more confidence in product safety. It's a powerful tool in preventing hazards because it builds safety right into each step of the food processor. HACCP is simple. It's effective. And this is how it works. There are seven principles in the HACCP system. The first principle is to conduct a hazard assessment. This means to identify hazards associated with the food product in question. It includes assessing hazards in growing and harvesting ingredients, processing, distribution, merchandising, and even how people prepare their food before eating it.